they play over and over again And I call myself a friend While you call yourself a stranger We float upon the hills and on the grass That they will hear but never understand And I'm writing this in a bad way No one can hear what my head says Oh no Take what you want from me Cause I can't And I find it hard to breathe mm. Mm. Don't we all have our doubts on love? If you ask me if I'm fine, then I'd say yes But I am lying through my teeth and they all know that I am flawed I am flawed Still we float upon the hills and on the grass Dreaming only of the time that soon to pass And I'd say I just exist in this talking world I live Cause I can't bear it I find it hard to breathe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't we all have our doubts On Look at me, tell me you love me. I love you. How much? Huh? How much? How much? Well, let's see. That much. That's pretty big. Yeah.
Huh? So that's a lot of driving. Look what I did. Can you read it? Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> Slide it down a little bit. Our trip back to good old Washington, 2005. Okay. Hi. <laughs> We're at McDonald's. It's the beginning of our adventure. <laughs> According to him. <clears throat> All the shit in that. We're jam packed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I'm done with that. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go now. I love you. Love you. Come back and see me. Okay. watching it on the camera. You should have seen it earlier. There were like four of them chasing each other around. It was cute. But those are like different squirrels. They're snow time squirrels. The snow time squirrels? Yeah. Hey guys, check out my snow time squirrels. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm cool. Oh. 
I've been wanting to get out and play in the snow and I was gonna throw a snowball at you, but I figured that'd be kind of mean. Oh, wow. Check this out. It's only seven degrees. And my seven. windshield wiper fluid is frozen. <coughs> that is ice on the windows. Yeah. Not cool. Well, actually it is really cool.
to a room in my grandmother's house. So, Sarah and I spent two years in this room. I'm just kind of sitting here, trying to imagine, remember what that was like. But, first time we were here, Sarah, we were here for about uh, probably a year and almost two years actually and we, uh, boy, talk about arguing. Yeah, we did a lot of that and our relationship was really getting, you know, pretty, pretty rough at that point and Sarah was getting homesick and she was like, I gotta go back, you know, to Washington, and that's where she wanted to be. So, you know, I couldn't really convince her otherwise at that point, so I just had to let her go, you know, and she did. She went, and um, that was rough, you know, but um, I had to just let her discover, like, is that what she wanted to do, and... Um, you know, so she went and took Dylan and Justin, the boys, and uh, stayed with her folks for a while. In the meantime, looking for a house, you know, and and uh, yeah. So I tell you, Sarah, I learned a lot of things in this room alone. Um, one of those things was, you know, I never want to be without you in my life. Um, sometimes, unfortunately, you know, the saying, you don't appreciate what you have until it's gone, but uh, I experienced that here, um, and I never want that to happen ever again in my life, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, so we did a lot of things in this room, um, Yeah, it was crowded, it was not easy, it was challenging, but somehow, you know, you stuck through it with me, and um, not only did, you know, it happened the first time and you, and you did, it, did it, but you agreed to do it a second time for another year, and, um, that's amazing, you know, to 
have someone in your life as a as a friend as a, a support somebody ready to ride out with whatever comes our way and uh, that's what you did you know and it's just amazing we used to have our bed over here minus all this stuff of course and this section was our living room for some time got a TV in that corner chair over here the first time we came here and Dylan used to sleep over there in that corner we actually built a loft up there and Sarah and I had our bed up there. Yeah, so I think about it now and I tend to focus so much on like what's ahead and, and, and what we, we haven't done yet or, or, or what's left for us to develop into and, and I focus on those things a lot. And you know, the past few days going through memories and, and watching old film and stuff like that, I've noticed that, or realized that, um, you know, everything I've ever wanted is right right in front of me, you know, and we've, you have helped build a large amount of wealth in my life, just for being who you are and, and um, always being willing to just follow me wherever, like you've never really... Uh, put your foot down and said, no, you know, we're not doing that. You were always like, you know, down for whatever. And that's amazing. And I don't appreciate that enough. You're so temporary. The late afternoon. Driving across the prairie. What the hell are we doing? Spending every dollar we have. Hi, D man. Hey. hey. Come on in, bud. See your little baby brother up there? Come over here, you can see his face better, okay? He's eating right now. What do you think? I can get up here. You can sit right here. Just be careful. Be easy, okay? Be very careful. Okay? You see him? Yeah. That's your brother, Justin. Pay attention, pay attention. He's so cute. Yeah. Why do you think you have to take all your clothes off? Yeah, they got to. That's just part of the surgery stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And here. Yeah. With no time to slow down And no guts to go back Sorry about all of this But give me just a minute To sort out everything And I will much to be desired and 
in a trade a little color for all these telephone wires there are things I want to show you but I might not get the chance stumbles upon love and tries to discover exactly what that is I honestly think in my life you've taught me what it is um, because you've just always been willing to do whatever it is I imagined I've dreamed about or whatever you've always been a support and I could never ever repay you for that and um, but I will spend the rest of my life trying and keeping on trying to get you everything I think you deserve. Ready for this? Yeah. Are you sure? I don't know. Hey, dudes. <laughs> and Ellie. This is your mom and dad. Hi. Right before showtime. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He's so cute. 
all that time in the cold dark basement. I love you very much. And I look forward to the rest of our lives together, whatever that may bring. You know, and even looking ahead, like I know my future is secure because I have someone, a a a forever friend, you know, a um, a person always willing to take on whatever's going to come our way, and not only by their doing, but by someone else's doing, and that's love, you know, that's uh, that's impressive, because now I'm in a place where I look back and I'm like, you know what? My life is full. You know, it's really, really full. I have two amazing sons and a beautiful new baby daughter and someone who will go anywhere with me and support me through anything and love me even when I was unlovable. And that's, you, you know, that's what's taught me like what loving someone really means and I don't know if everyone gets to experience that so I feel completely um, grateful for for some reason me getting to deserve that you know um, for, for some reason me getting to experience that it's uh, pretty amazing so but, uh, yeah it's crazy I love you I always will love you and thank you for where we are everything that we've done it's all all of it has been amazing. All New England and all in paradise. Fuck. Uh...